Hi, I'm Patty. Today we're going to review the common procedure and technique for preparing a concentrated stock solution. Then we're going to dilute that stock solution to a known concentration. This is a three-part procedure. Part one is calculating the amount of compound needed. Part two is preparing the concentrated stock solution. Part three is preparing a diluted solution. For this demonstration, we will prepare 0.250 liters of a 0.100 molar copper 2 sulfate stock solution. We will then dilute the stock solution to prepare 0.250 liter of a 0.004 molar solution. For safety purposes, a lab coat, safety glasses, and gloves are required for this demonstration. Let's begin. We need a calculation amount of how much copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate needed to make the solution. I've done the calculation already and we need 6.2 grams. These are the things we're going to use. Copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, a scupula, weighing dish, and a scale. First we need to take our copper 2 sulfate and have it ready to start measuring. Put our weighing dish onto the scale. You will see a value of 2.1 on the scale. We need to tear that, which means it takes away that value. And all we'll be measuring is the product inside the weighing boat. Take the weighing boat off. Put your product inside. And place it back on the scale. The reason why we do this step is to avoid any contamination of the scale or the product. We have a reading of 4.2. We need to still add more product. We've reached our value needed, 6.2. We are now ready to make the solution. To complete this step, we will use the following apparatus. A 100 ml beaker, a volumetric flask, funnel, weighing boat with compound, distilled water, parafilm, disposable pipette, and a marker for labeling. First, we will need to pour water into the volumetric flask until it is about one-third full. Using a clean, dry funnel, carefully pour the compound from the weighing boat into the volumetric flask. Rinse the weighing boat several times with a small amount of distilled water from the wash bottle. Add the rinse solution to the volumetric flask with the aid of the funnel. Finally, rinse the funnel a few times with water, then remove it from the flask. Gently swirl the solution until the solid is dissolved. Dilute carefully by adding water from the 100 ml beaker until the water level is about one centimeter below the graduation line on the neck of the flask. Use a disposable pipette to add the last few drops, ensuring that the bottom of the meniscus is at the graduation line. On this step, be careful. You don't want to go over the meniscus line Otherwise, you'll have to do it all over again. Seal the flask with a small piece of parafilm. Invert the flask several times to ensure thorough mixing. Now label the flask with the name and concentration of the stock solution. You have now made a stock solution. You can use a stock solution to prepare a diluted solution. We will now use our stock solution to prepare 0.250 liters of a diluted solution with a concentration of 0.004 moles per liter. We will first need to determine the amount of stock solution required. We want to make a diluted solution with a concentration of 0.004 moles per liter C2 and a volume of 0.250 liters V2. Our stock solution has a concentration of 0.100 moles per liter, C1. The volume of stock, V1, is our unknown quantity. To find the volume of stock required, we will isolate V1 in our equation by dividing both sides by C1. Therefore, V1 is equal to C2 times V2 divided by C1. Now substitute in the values of C2, V2, and C1 and solve. The volume of stock required 
is 0 0.010 liters or 10.0 milliliters. To prepare the dilution, we will need the following material. Stock solution, a 10 ml pipette, pipette bulb, Erlenmeyer flask, distilled water, disposable pipette, parafilm, and a volumetric flask. Here's our stock solution. We do not want to contaminate it by directly inserting our pipette, so a small amount is first transferred to an Erlenmeyer flask. To use the pipette, place the end in the liquid to be collected. Squeeze the pipette bulb, then securely place over the end of the pipette. Slowly release your grip on the bulb and allow the liquid to rise up the pipette. You should allow the liquid to rise above the line marked on the pipette, but stop before the liquid level reaches the bulb. Remove the bulb and quickly cover the end with your index finger, creating a seal. Slowly lift your finger and allow the liquid to exit until the bottom of the meniscus is sitting on top of the line marked on the pipette. If you allow too much to exit, simply use the pipette bulb to draw more liquid in and try again. This takes some practice, so be patient with yourself. Once you have the required amount of liquid, pull the pipette out of the Erlenmeyer flask and insert it into a new 0.250 liter volumetric flask. Remove your index finger from the end of the pipette and allow all the liquid to drain into the flask. Don't worry, if a few drops remain in the pipette, these are calibrated to deliver the exact amount of liquid required. Using the same procedure as before, we now add distilled water to the flask. Monitoring the level and using a disposable pipette for the last few drops. Once again, the bottom of the meniscus should be sitting on top of the line marked on the neck of the flask. Seal the flask with parafilm and gently invert to mix thoroughly. Label your flask. Your diluted solution is now ready for use. You have now learned how to weigh a compound, prepare a concentrated stock solution, and prepare a diluted solution. Now if you look at them side by side, you can see that the stock solution is darker than the diluted solution. If you have any questions about any of these processes, please ask your instructor or the lab assistant. Thanks for watching and happy experimenting.